rate the intermediates, the class composed of children from 7 to 11 years old, with the peace of the Lord Jesus. And we invite you to close your eyes so we can pray, pleading by the blood of Jesus. Lord, we plead by the blood of Jesus. We ask, Lord, fellowship, set us free, visit our hearts, and give us, Lord, the blessings we need at this moment. Take care of us during this class so that we can feel your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we're going to worship our God with a song that says, I want to always walk with the Lord Jesus. I want to always walk with Jesus. He leads me to eternity. And when I have to face the struggles and problems, He will be there to protect me, sustain me, grab me by the hand, and raise me up, give me salvation. The greatest treasure is to grow with Him and to work for Him is my way of worshiping Him. Our God is the Lord of the armies. And that is why we're going to sing a song that says, I am victorious in the battles. I am victorious in the battles because I use spiritual weapons. And I have been clothed with the armor of God, and I will be strengthened in the Lord. I have girded my waist with the truth and worn the breastplate of righteousness. And I have put on my feet the preparation of the gospel of peace. And I have the shield of faith and the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. In the battles, I am victorious because I use the spiritual weapons and I'm clothed with the armor of God and I will be strengthened in the Lord and in the strength of His power. Intermediates, the theme that we have been studying in the month of October is Time of Restoration. We have already learned that to restore means to rebuild to bring something back to its original form. And throughout this month, God wants to restore our spiritual life. And in this class, I invite you to read with me a text in the Word of God. That is in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, verse 17 and 18, that says, Those who built on the wall and those who carried the burdens loaded themselves so that with one hand... They worked at the construction and with the other held a weapon. Every one of the builders had his sword girded at his side as he built, and the one who sounded the trumpet was beside me. The theme of this class today is the perseverance of the faithful servant. Perseverance means to finish something you started without giving up. It's going all the way to the end without being dismayed. We are learning of the story of Nehemiah. God put in Nehemiah's heart to rebuild the walls and the doors of Jerusalem. And when Nehemiah arrived and saw all 
of the destruction, he passed there three days observing and praying. And after the third day, Nehemiah gathered the people and declared to them that he would begin a great work of restoration and rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. And when the enemy found out of Nehemiah's intent, they rose up to stop that great work that Nehemiah had in his heart, that God put in his heart. The enemies of Nehemiah were Jesson, Tobiah, and Sambalot. And they invented lies and said, You, Nehemiah, are rebelling against the king? But Nehemiah continued firm in his purpose. Nehemiah showed that he trusted in his God. Nehemiah then said to them and to all the people, We will rise and we will edify the city. Because we have part in Jerusalem, but the enemies know you do not have part or memory in Jerusalem. So Nehemiah began that great construction of the walls together with the people that were there. And the work was great and extensive. It was the whole walls that would cover the whole city. And there were 10 doors, but the people worked with great happiness on that work. And the enemies noticed that Nehemiah began to work on the walls and the people were also rebuilding and they began to make fun of them. Sambalot and Tobiah would say, you are not going to be able to build those walls. You are weak. If a fox walks by, it'll destroy the walls. They faced many critics. But Nehemiah continued with his purpose, trusting in the Lord. And intermediates, many times you will face many criticism. We are building a wall of salvation in our spiritual life. And you will notice that many times you will be made fun of or criticized. Many will say, you? You're trying to learn a musical instrument? You won't be able to. You're reading the Bible? Why are you reading the Bible? Why are you going to church? You're going to face opposition just like Nehemiah. But just like Nehemiah, we are going to trust in God because our strength comes from the Lord and you will persevere in what God put in your heart and you will be victorious. Nehemiah there continued that purpose of rebuilding the walls. The walls were very important for the city at that time. The cities were fortified through these walls. The walls were protection for the city. And if the walls were destroyed, the enemies could enter, rob the food and their wealth, and leave that people poor. So the construction of those walls and the doors were very important for the city. And that is why Nehemiah wanted to edify once again these walls because he wanted the people of God protected, safe in the city. Even against the criticism, the people of the Lord were not dismayed and the enemies continued to persecute Nehemiah. They started a war against Nehemiah and the people of the Lord. Sambalat and Tobiah gathered men and said, we are going to fight them so that they can give up on this work, this construction. But Nehemiah had his heart firm in the Lord. And so he prepared the people. He gathered the people and said, we are going to work, but each one will have their own weapon. Each person that is working, each servant that worked had their sword, their bow and arrow, and the word of God said that with one hand they worked on the construction of the wall, and with the other they held the weapons. They were ready to protect themselves from the attack of the enemy. And also, as they were working, the word of God says that there was one who sounded the trumpet, and when he sounded the trumpet, everyone gathered together close to Nehemiah, and they would build the wall and they would protect themselves from the enemies who wanted war. 
intermediates, the wall talks about sanctification. The wall separates, right? The wall of Jerusalem separated the city from the other people. And there inside the walls, there was the people of God, worship to the Lord, and the laws that God established for his people. So the walls were not only for protection, but also separation from the people of God in Jerusalem and the other people. And today we also have a wall for our spiritual life that separates us. We have the sanctification that is given to us through the blood of Jesus, through the Holy Spirit. And the Word of God invites us to be holy. To be holy intermediate means to do what pleases the Lord so that you can have fellowship with the Lord. That is why we are different. That is why the way you talk is different. The way you clothe yourself is different. What you watch on TV or the internet is different from your friends who do not know the Lord. And the word of God says that our feet are in Jerusalem. Your feet are in Jerusalem because you were created to work and edify the work of the Lord. Your friends many times that don't know the Lord have as an example or an idol, maybe a football player or soccer player or famous bloggers or music bands. You servants of the Lord are different. You girls have as an example the ladies in church and you say, I want to be a teacher, a Sunday school teacher or an instrumentalist. And you boys look at the workers and say, one day I want to put the suit. I want to be by the door of the church. I want to do the period of praise. That's why there is sanctification in your life because we are protecting our hearts and our minds so we can work in the work of the Lord. Sambala and Tobiah and Jessen were the enemies. They opposed the work of the Lord. But there will be people that will oppose you in your life. Programs and internet, friends, worldly musics, movies. They will try to impede you from serving the Lord. But God invites you, intermediate, to be like Nehemiah, who persevered firm in the Lord and did not care about the difficulties, were not intimidated by the enemies, but trusted in the word of God and continued firm in his purpose to be victorious. And the word of God said that the people of the Lord would gather together every time they heard the trumpet sound. And today we live the same experience, right? When we hear the sound of the trumpet, we get together in church, in the body of Christ, everyone with their own job working for the Lord. We have our spiritual weapons. That is the word of God, the sword of the spirit that helps us win every battle. Nehemiah was victorious. He won because he trusted in the Lord. And those who persevere until the end is victorious. And we can say, why did Nehemiah persevere until the end? What led the people in the midst of so much war, struggle, and enemy, what led them to not give up and not be dismayed? Why did Nehemiah not give up? Because Nehemiah loved Jerusalem. Nehemiah loved the city of his parents. They loved that place because it was a place of worship to the Lord. And we love Jerusalem. And the word of God says, let Jerusalem come to your mind and heart. And today we do not give up before the battles and struggles and problems because we love Jerusalem. We want to reach Jerusalem. That is our land. That is why we are edifying the walls of our spiritual life today, the walls of salvation, so we can be prepared for the rapture where we will meet with our Savior. And the word of God says, those who persevere until the end, that one will be saved. The one who will enter Jerusalem will be raptured is the one who will persevere. And today the Lord is inviting you intermediate to persevere. Do not give up. Put your life before God. 
pray, use the word of God as the sword. And that way, us servants, we will finish this great work. And on the day that the Lord Jesus returns, we will go up and be with him forever in our land, the celestial Jerusalem. And we are going to end this class singing the song, I want to be faithful to my Lord. I want to be faithful to you, Jesus, and always do your will to keep your word in my heart because it is life and light for my path. I want to be faithful, to be faithful until the end, to be faithful until my Jesus returns. I want to walk in your light, O Lord, because only then am I safe. And I want to proclaim in a high voice that Jesus resurrected on the third day. He is alive and reigns in my life. I want to be faithful. I want to be faithful until the end. I want to be faithful until my Jesus returns. Jesus is alive, reigns in my life, and soon will return. We have reached the end of our class and I invite you to close your eyes so we can pray, thanking the Lord. Lord, we glorify you, Lord. We want to worship you because you take care of us and you win all our battles. And we know that we are weak, but we find our strength in you. So keep, Lord, this word in the hearts of each intermediate so that they may persevere and continue your work. We thank you for this moment in your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Intermediates, the peace of the Lord Jesus.